GRDA is protecting bald eagles that are nesting near Pensacola Dam near Langley. They set up a perimeter around those nests, but there is another spot where you can go see the birds. News on 6's Sawyer Bussy shows us. Bring your bird watching binoculars, you know, your long lens on your camera. There is really nothing quite like seeing a bald eagle. Not in a book, not on TV, but soaring free in the state where you live. If you're in Oklahoma right now, it's the perfect time to do just that. We've got an eagle's nest here not too far down from us that's, that's got some activity on it right now. Justin Alberti with Grand River Dam Authority says he and his co-workers want to make sure these eagles keep coming back to nest each year. The nest was actually located two or three years ago by our GRD Ecosystems and Watershed Department. It's some, a part of what they do is kind of monitor for nests in the area. They put signs up near the bald eagle nest in hopes of keeping people back and giving the birds some space. Which is part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Management Service's federal regulations to do so to kind of keep the public back. Justin says in years past, Oklahomans have been extremely respectful of the guidelines and found their own ways to enjoy the beauty of bald eagles from a safe distance. There's an area near the dam called Eagle Pass. Anyone can head that way to try and catch a glimpse of a bald eagle right now. In January and February, below our dams and really below most all dams that you'll see in the state, there's a lot of eagle activity. And if you're lucky, the eagles. We got an eagle. We can go home now. Might just come to you. <laughs> Well, GRDA told me today that if you're planning on heading out this way to catch a ball, a glimpse of a bald eagle for yourself, the earlier the better. They say the early morning is the perfect time to grab your camera, set up, and wait. Saw your Bussy Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.